Musa anachukua usiku wote anapatianga Mungu. Let me tell you I'm you know how do you, can you guess how old I am? Ah, anauliza, mnaweza piga ramli vizuri umri wake ni miaka ngapi? Can you guess can you someone guess how old? Kuna mtu anaweza beba mkono aseme ni ngapi? Someone who doesn't know my age. Yes, you can. You la bai hadi miaka yake guess aseme ni ngapi? He says 48. 48, okay. Yeah. Yes. Seven years. Talks of 67. 67. Uh-huh. 45. He talks of 45. 45, okay. Uh-huh. Another one, Umuni? 50. Huh? He talks of 50. 50. Uh-huh. He talks of 58. Okay, okay. Okay, he, he got it right. Did, did you, did someone get it from the internet? Aha. Uh-huh. Nyinyi mmepata haya mambo kwa mtandao ama namna gani? Maana jibu ni kama nimetoka Kiswahili mali fulani. I'm 67. Yeye yeah, yeah, hapo 67. Ha! Ah. I still want to go to the different parts of the world. Bado anataka kwenda katika nchi mbalimbali nchini. I want to serve God until I die. Anataka atumikie Mungu mpaka apumzishwe na yeye. Because God is so good. Mungu ni mzuri sana. Amen. He's happy with anything we do for him. Yeye ako na raha kwa chochote ambacho tumfanyia yeye. He's happy with everything I do for him. Ana furahi kwa lolo So I rejoice in the Lord. Even though I can improve a lot, there's a lot of room for improvement. Compared to God, He's very perfect. But each one of us are different levels. But no matter how high we are, we're still very far from God. No one is caused to, I mean, to be like God at all. You know, I mean, totally like God, full of joy, full of love. No one is totally like God. Kulinganisha na Mungu aliyeja na pendo mzuri hata wakati watu wamekosea pendo lake ni mzuri tu hakuna anayeweza kulinganisha But whenever any one of these people say Lord I need you God is very happy Mungu anafurahi And anyone says I love you Lord Mungu mtu anaposema nakupenda ewe Mungu God is very happy Mungu naye anafurahi Because the Bible says when you come close him He'll come close to you. Ba maana Biblia inasema unaposonga karibu na yeye na yeye atasonga karibu na wewe. That is in James chapter 4 verse 8. Hayo ni katika Yakobo 4 mstari wa 8. Yakobo 4 mstari wa 8. So, can you wake up every day and say God likes me? Ah, unaweza kuamka kuanzia leo kila asubuhi useme Mungu ananipenda. I can be happy with myself. I can improve. I can work harder to serve God. But whatever I do for him, God is very happy with me. Can you have this mentality? Is it very different? Let me tell you, what is the difference between this kind of mentality that I live in the love of God and the Christians say, oh, life is too difficult. It's difficult. Let me tell you the difference is this. What's that? Ni kuambie tofauti. When you live in the love of God, then you can be filled with the joy of the Lord. Unapoishi katika mapenzi ya Mungu, unaweza kukaa katika raha kubwa ya Mungu. When I live in the love of God, it doesn't mean I disobey God. Unapoishi katika mapenzi ya Mungu, haimaanishi kwamba mimi niko kinyume na mapenzi ya Mungu. When I know how great is God's love and his power, Ninapojua kwamba jinsi Mungu alivyo na nguvu zake na jinsi zilivyo kuu sana how he is almighty vile yeye ni mkuu zaidi i dare not sin against him 
Mimi siwezi kutenda dhambi kwa Mungu. I did not commit any sin. Sijatenda makosa yoyote. Whenever I have any sinful thought in my heart, ninapokuwa na dhambi yoyote katika moyo wangu, I will take care of it. Mimi nitashughulikia. I will stop my sin whenever the sinful thought comes up in my heart. Pardon? I will take care of my sins whenever any sinful thought come up in my heart. Nita 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 tatawana dhambi ambayo itakuja kama tutakuwa na wazo lolote litakalo ni njia ya kutenda dhambi. Now for many people they let their sinful thought come out in the words. Na wengi wetu huwa wanaachilia dhambi inaanza kuwa mbele zetu na kutawala. They let the words of anger come out wanaacha hasira inatoka ile kutawala they let you know words of action of sin come out wanaacha vitendo za dhambi zinatoka ile but for me i see the great love of god lakini mimi naona upendo bayana wa mungu i see his great blessings naona baraka zake kubwa i also see his great power naona nguvu zake kuu zaidi no one can run away from the eyes of god hakuna yote anaye kuweza kukimbia katika uso wa mungu na akafaulu and any sin will come any sin will so to destruction na dhambi yote ambayo imetendeka hiyo inasaidia hukumu yake So when I have this love of God I want to obey God in every single way. Ninapokuwa na upendo wa Mungu nitakuwa mtu wa kumtii Mungu katika kila njia mbele yangu. This is a right distinction and balance of the grace of God and his law. Hii ndio hatua kamili maisha kamili iliyo katika neema na ya kumpenda Mungu. Now some people just have the love of God and don't have the law of God is also wrong. Na kuna watu wengine wanazunguka kuhusu kupenda Mungu na hawana upendo wa Mungu. Hiyo sio sahihi. They will say God forgives me no matter what so I can commit any sin. Ati Mungu ananisamehe tu hata haijalishi natenda dhambi za aina gani. Mungu atanisamehe tu. Ah ah. And then those people who have the law and don't have much love of God na kuna watu ambao wana upendo lakini hawana ule upendo kabisa wa Mungu. They always accuse people and accuse themselves. We huwa mara nyingi wanahukumu watu wengine tena wanajihukumu. They always feel unhappy about themselves and other people. Yaani mara nyingi wana wanahisi kwamba hawapendi na hawajipendi wenyewe na tena hawapendi watu wengine. They always under pressure. Wako kila saa wanafinyiliwa na maisha. But for me I serve God with freedom and joy. Mimi natumika Mungu katika upendo na furaha. Whenever I go to different places in the world, wakati natembea kila sehemu ya dunia, I tell my parts. Huwa naambia watu wake and then I relax. Yeye huwa anatulia. There are some people who really want to learn. Kuna watu wengi sana ambao hutaka kujifunza. There are some people who are lazy to learn. Kuna wengine ambao yani wako wadhaifu ama wako katika haja ya kutotaka kujifunza. I try to motivate everyone to learn. Ya yeye anatupa changamoto kila mtu ajaribu kusoma. But after I tell what I should do kama wakati nafanya yale ambao nastahili kufanya I just relax huwa natulia I don't let anyone affect me I attack him to yote amwadili Some people are not learning it won't affect me Ah mtu watu wengine kama wako tayari basi hiyo haitamwadili yeye I care about them Yeye anashughulika ndio anajali Anajali anataka hao watu wajifunze But if they don't want to learn lakini kama hawataka kujifunza I still rejoice because I've done my part. Yeye ufurahi kwa sababu amefanya sehemu yake. That I'm happy with what I do for God. Yeye anafurahi kwa yale anafanyia Mungu. And whenever I can change I'm very happy. Yule ambaye anaweza kubadilisha basi itakuwa ni furaha. So that way I don't have pressure. Hapo yeye hana ile msukumo. And that way I can keep being joyful. Hapo inaweza inamweka yeye anaendelea kuwa na raha. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Ah, yeye anataka sasa kuongelea kuhusu ma, maombi ya aina tatu ambayo yanaweza kutuongoza kufika kwa Mungu. The first kind of prayer is the prayer of grace. Ya, ombi la kwanza ni ombi la neema. I think that is it. The prayer of grace would be declaring his his love and grace for us. Hiyo itakuwa inaweka wazi neema yake kwa ajili yetu. For instance, kwa mfano We can say God is loving me. Unaweza kusema Mungu amenipenda mimi. God is helping me. Mungu ananisaidia. God remembers me all the time. Mungu ananikumbuka kila wakati. God is in front of me and behind me. Mungu ako mbele yangu na nyuma yangu. Now this is Psalm 139 verse 5. Huyu ni mtu ambaye ame Psalm 139 verse 5. Eh Zaburi 139 mstari wa 5. Zaburi 139 God is in front of me and behind me and God is laying his hand upon me. Mungu ako mbele yangu na ako nyuma yangu na mkono wake uko juu yangu. That means God is with us all the time and blessing us all the time. Mungu anatubariki kila saa, kila saa anatubariki mkono wake unatubariki. Now this prayer of grace is very helpful. It helps us to be joyful. So every day we can say God is loving me. God is remembering me. God is helping me. Mungu ananisaidia. God is a wonderful player in my life. Mungu anampanga vizuri kwa maisha yangu. It's all from God to us. Ni ile inatoka kwa Mungu kuja kwetu sisi. Okay? The second kind of prayer is prayer of worship. Na ombi la pili ni ombi la kuabudu. Now This is will be in the text. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. This will be in the text. Haya, hii itakuwa katika eh, mtihani wetu wa mwisho. Hiyo nakwambia nimekuibia mtihani. Okay, prayer of worship will be like, Lord I love you. Ah, uh, ombi la maombi ya kuabudu ni kwamba unaomba hivi Mungu nakupenda. It's from us to God. Kutoka kwetu sisi kwenda kwa Mungu. I worship God. Na tunamwabudu. I like God. Napenda Mungu. Now I pray in a way very personal. Naomba katika ombi la kipekee la kibinafsi. It's like two persons in love. Ni kama ni vitu viwili. I will say I will say Lord I need you. Nataka kusema Mungu na nakuhitaji. I hold on to you. Nakushikilia. I lean on you. Nakuinamia. I enjoy you. Mimi nakuvumilia. Now this is a very intimate words. Na haya ni mambo yana nguzo sana. When we pray like this, tunaomba hivi. It's easy to get strength. Ali ini rais kuwa na nguvu. Oh, yes you. Yes you. I hold on to you. Na kushikilia ewe Yesu. Yes. I need you. Na kuita. Yes you. I enjoy. Na kufurahia. Yes, yes, I like you. Na kupenda. Okay. Yeah. The third kind of prayer. Aya, ni ja ombi la tatu. Is interactive prayer. Ni maombi ya mahusiano. Now it's a combination of the first kind and the second kind. Ni ya ni 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 jumla ya ombi la kwanza na ombi la pili. Whenever we pray, God is very happy with us. Wakati tunaomba, Mungu anafurahi na sisi. And he will hear our prayer and he will bless us. Atasikia maombi yetu na yeye atatubariki. So whenever I worship God, I can say, Wakati naabudu Mungu naweza kusema, God is happy with me. Mungu amefurahi na mimi. God is listening to my prayer. Mungu anasikia maombi yangu. And God, you know, wants to bless me. Mungu anataka kunibariki. And God will respond to my prayer. Mungu atashughulika na maombi yangu. So now for many people they pray like this. Oh God, please help me. Oh Mungu, tafadhali nisaidie. Mungu tafadhali nisaidie. I need you. Na kuitaji. Why don't you come yet? Usikuje tu hapa. But we can pray with confidence. Lakini sisi tunaomba na ujasiri. I pray to you. Wakati naomba kwa Mungu, you are very happy with me. Wewe uko na raha na mimi. You listen to my prayer. Wasikiza maombi yangu. You respond to my prayer. Unashughulikia maombi yangu. And you bless me. Na unanibariki. Then we will have confidence. Hiyo tunakuwa na ujasiri. Now it's not pride. 
Some people will say, you are proud. I will tell them, I'm just trusting in God's promises. Because God has promised us. Whenever we love Him, He will bless us. Because what God has prepared for those who love Him are are things that eyes have not seen, the ears have not heard, and our hearts have not thought of. So whenever we love Him, what He prepared for us is beyond our imagination. Isn't what the Bible isn't it what the Bible says? I just hold on to the promises. Whatever God says, I believe. But many Christians don't believe it. They will say, I'm not good enough. I won't hear my prayer. I'm too weak. Now it's true we are weak. But whenever we say, Lord, I need you. Lord, I trust in you. Help me. I need your help. God is very, very happy. Mungu anafrai, anafrai can you believe this? So every day can we say, Kila siku Rejoice in the Lord, oh, praise the Lord. I say, Rejoice. You know, I've experienced the Holy Spirit in 1998. When an evangelist Carlos and Condia from Argentina came to Hong Kong, wakati muilisi aliingilia katika mji wa Hong Kong, and he laid hand on me, aliachi aliweka mkono juu yangu, I experienced great power of God, akaisi upako mkubwa wa Mungu, and great love of God, na upendo mkubwa wa Mungu, the love was so strong I cried for a long time, na akawa na ameshikiliwa na akalia kwa muda mrefu sana, and then I say Lord I never knew I can experience you like that. And I spent long hours praying to him. And I spent long hours praying to him. When I travel in the car, I always tell the people in the car. I always tell the people in the car. I always tell the people in the car. Keep loving God. But many people, when they have spent long time walking. You know, or 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 stay in a car. They'll just keep chatting. What what It's not wrong to chat. But how about should we chat with God? And I really like God. And I respond to God. And I found that the more I pray to God, the more I experience His joy. Ha ha. How do you know that I am His son? I tell you. <laughs> Hallelujah. His joy will keep coming to me. And there are many people I pray for. They experience the joy of the Lord right away. You know, the, this description of heaven is happiness. Upendo. In Matthew 25. The master said to the servant, who is the faithful servant, yeah. Come in to enjoy the happiness of your master. Heaven is also full of love. 
So every day we can let the love of God fill us. Kila saa tunaona upendo wa Mungu kitujaa. Okay, now let me describe these three kinds of prayers again. Alafu acha acha aeze kuongea kuhusu haya maombi matatu tena. Now there are other kinds of prayer. Kuna maombi mengine zaidi. Like intercession. Kama ile ya uombezi. But here I talk about three kinds of prayer that will help us spiritually get close to God. Lakini haya yanazunguza maombi ya aina tatu ambayo yanaweza kutusaidia tusonge karibu na Mungu. The first kind is the prayer of grace. Ya kwanza tumezoema ni neema ni maombi ya neema. God is loving me. Mungu ananipenda. God is blessing me. Mungu ananipenda. God is helping me. Mungu ananisaidia. God is a wonderful friend. Mungu ni Mungu wa ajabu. You should really believe that. Unani utaamini hiyo? Every day we say I'm a blessed person. Kila saa utasema kila siku mimi nimebarikiwa na Mungu. God has prepared a wonderful future for me. Mungu ameandaa mambo mazuri mbele yangu. And the second kind of prayer is prayer of worship. Ya pili tumesema ni maombi ya ibada, maombi ya kumwabudu Mungu. I love you. Nakupenda. I need you. Nakuita. I hold on to you. Nakushikilia. I like you. Nakupenda. So when I pray, wakati naomba, sometimes I just pray like this. Wakati na anaomba hivi. For instance when I'm preaching, wakati anapohubiri, I just Pray like in a heart. Oh Lord, I like you. Oh Lord, <laughs> you're so wonderful. Where you Wonderful. 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 Jesus, wonderful. Where are you at? And the third kind of prayer. Whenever I pray, I will say, I believe in my heart. God is very happy with me. Mungu anafurahi. He will hear my prayer. Atasikia maombi yangu. He will respond to my prayer. Atashughulikia maombi yangu. Atabariki maisha yangu. Okay, let me give you a little test now. Wacha nikupe sasa mtihani mdogo. I will say a prayer and then you will tell me what it is. Nitakuwa nikiona kisema ombi na utaniambia ni ombi na ina gani. Okay. Now can you can 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 they learn these three words grace and then uh, worship and interactive can they learn these three words so they can say it in English. Aha. Sasa tunataka tujifunze mambo haya kwa Kiingereza. Grace. Grace. Worship. 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 Interactive. Interactive. Can you learn these three words? Tunaweza kujifunza tuzunguze kwa Kiingereza. Aha. Okay. Aha. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay, this prayer is like this. Lord, I like you. What is it? Lord, I like you. Mungu nakupenda. Iko sehemu gani? Worship. Very very good. Very good. One of Sawa sawa. Ajabu sana. Kumbe umeshika. God loves me today and every day. Mungu ananipenda leo na kila siku. Ila wapi? God loves me today and every day. Mungu ananipenda mimi na kila siku. Grace. Grace. Neema. Whenever I love God, God is very happy. Wakati napenda Mungu, Mungu anafurahi. Interacting. Yes. Aha. Whenever I ask God, whenever I ask God, God has a plan to fulfill it. Oh, wakati nikimuuliza yeye ana mpango wa kutimiliza maombi yangu. What did you say? Interact. Yes. Okay. Now let me say this. When someone has sickness, mtu akiwa mgonjwa, they pray to God. Wanaomba kwa Mungu. And they think the only way God can answer the prayer is when they are healed. Ah, wanafikiria kwamba njia hiyo ingia Mungu kujibu tu ni wewe ukipona. I want to say that sometimes God doesn't necessarily, you know, bring healing as a response to the prayer. The prayer. God sometimes just help us to trust in Him more, even in our sickness. Mungu anatusaidia tumuamini sana hata wakati wa magonjwa. Okay, so some people say I ask Him to put. To heal me and he never answers my prayer. When you know, unasa ma kuamba ni meomba mungu anipoye lakini hajadi kumaombi yangu. Aha. Yeah. 
You know, sometimes our sickness don't go away right away. Aha, wakati mwingine magonjwa yetu hayaondoki tu. Aha. It doesn't mean God doesn't love us. Haimaanishi kwamba Mungu hajatupenda. It doesn't mean God doesn't respond to our prayers. Haimaanishi kwamba Mungu hashughuliki maombi yetu. Now for people who are sick, first response is you can feel more peaceful and your body has more comfort. Na watu walio wagonjwa, jambo la maana ni hivi, utajiona kwamba uko na amani hata licha ya yale magonjwa, uko na amani na una upendo. That's already the first level of healing. Hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza ya uponyaji wa Mungu. Okay? Let us do some prayer now together. Wacha tuwe na ile ombi la pamoja. Please stand up. Naomba usimame. And believe that God is loving you right now. Kumbuka kwamba sasa Mungu amekupenda sasa hivi. So put these three prayers together. Weka haya maombi matatu pamoja. And lead you in the prayer. And if there are two persons who want to experience the Holy Spirit more, who hunger for the Holy Spirit, can come out while I'm praying and lay hand on them. Akama kuna mambo ambao ungependa kuwa na mausiano karibu na mungu unaweza kufika wakati nita kuikalea mikolo hili mungu atende kazi. To let you see that God is very real. Tata kuwana kwa mba mungu wetu ni mungu halisi. And God wants to bless us any time. Na mungu anatubariki kila wakati. So any two persons of hunger for the Holy Spirit. Akama kuna mato ambao nita kuwa so karibu na Roho Mtakatifu. Now in these few days I'll pray for more people. Enita mama kwa siku hizi zote nitaombea kwa watu kadhaa. Right now I can lay hands on you. Lakini sasa hivi uenda nikakuelekea mkono. Any two persons who hunger for God come up. Watu wawili wana ambao wanahitaji. Wakuze hapa. Anyone else? Mwingine yote ambaye anahitaji kuomba na yeye. And someone so will you hold my mic for me. Set up, set up. Set up. Set up. Set up. Set up. Set up. Someone hold my mic for me. Kuna mtu ashikilie, ashikilie, ashikilie microphone ya wangu. Okay, now everyone will pray these three kinds of prayer. Tunataka kuomba maombi haya matatu. With confidence. Na imani na ujasiri. Faith in God. Ukimshukuru Mungu. Dear Lord Jesus. Baba wetu mtakatifu. You're so wonderful. Wewe ni wanja. Oh, yes, you. Yes, you. You're so wonderful. You care about about us all the time. You're with us all the time. You're blessing us right now. We want to come close to you. We trust in you. You're Almighty God. You're a wonderful God. You're full of love. You're full of mercy. You're full of kindness. You're full of power. And you care about us. You think about us all the time. And you lay your head upon us all the time. We come to you. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. We worship you. Oh, oh yes. 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 Yes, we love you. Yes, we And you're loving us. Na you're caring for us. You're helping us. Una we need you, Lord. We need you. And you're very happy we come to you. Una so you're rejoicing Una over us now. You're rejoicing over us with singing. Oh, oh yes. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, so wonderful to have you. 
It's so wonderful to have God. So wonderful to be loved by God. And we can enjoy you every day. We can enjoy your presence every day. Hallelujah. Oh, we can rejoice in your heart. We can rejoice in your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh Jesus, we need you. We yes. want you. To, to and you're to very come. happy we come to you. To go. You're to very go. happy that we come to you. To go. And you want to bless us. You, you want to bless us. You want to bless us. We can all live in the love of God. Oh Lord, help us. Baba to be filled with your love. Early in our life, so we can rejoice all the days of our life. So help us to be satisfied with our love, so that we can rejoice in the Lord all the days of our life. Oh Lord, help us to enjoy you, to rejoice in to be satisfied with your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let me first ask you, anyone here praying in this room, you feel, you feel peace, great peace, or comfort, or comfort to the body, or some, or some joy. Can you raise your hand? Anyone here who has some peace? Some love. Some love. Some love. Some love. Some love. Some love. Anyone experiencing something from God can you raise your hand. Raise your hand high and raise and leave it up. If you feel something from God, then you feel peaceful. Yes, you feel comfort in your body. Yeah, and you are at a good level. That we can always lead our congregation to enjoy God. To know is that the more we enjoy God, the more we will be strengthened. How do you put it to one another? And we can enjoy God's presence. 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 Una una unaisi kitugua na bato kipenda kwa mbele watu kisha mbwa kasa. Nikitugua unaisi. Holy Lord. My name is Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Jesus. Praise the Lord. Kama jina la Dominic. Yes, call Dominic. Na mshukuru mungu kama na atapo mana na ali na si ali na upendo. He is from a family that has no love. He stays in the grace of God. He stays closer to God than his parents. That's why he's here. Thank you. And then, did you experience anything during the prayer? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There is something. Just, can you describe it? Ah, in your heart and over your body. You may see it to God in Katika Muliwako. When you are going to say, I was in one. And he has been feeling pain in the leg, but now God has healed him. Do you feel comfort over the body and peace in your heart? Yes. God is very good. How about you? Mungu ni mzuri. Haya mama shika hiyo kwa mfono. Wana sifiwe. Na mshukuru kwa mungu. Mungu ya mungu. He came here when he was sick. Bila wakati. Kifuwa ina ingaza na bafu. Na bafu bila wakati. He always has a problem of a kidney every time. Mungu wana mkono wa mungu. He wants to see the hand of God. That's why he's here. He has now begun feeling a his. Shi. Shi. She, 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 she,
She has been weak every time, but he's feeling strong. Yeah. And how about where you have sickness? How do you feel now? She's feeling that uh, it's now okay. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is very good. If we enjoy God every day, we can go back down. We'll be renewed in the spirit and in the body. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Question. You, you said they like to cry in the prayer. So what's the question? Sasa, 
So I ask the user that so many uh, there are other people who goes before the Lord with the Lord with a lot of crying. You can feel them with their crying, tears passing. Okay. Their so, eyes. so are you asking me? Uh, are are they right? Huh? Is it a right to go before the Lord with the crying? Or not. Okay. Now the Bible does talk about people who cry for Israel, for the people of God. They were sad because they are weak. Yani wana uzuni kwa sababu wako wadhaifu. Like Jeremiah cried for the Israelites. Kama Jeremiah analia kwa ajili ya wana wa Israeli. But the Bible also says that we have faith in God that God wants to do great works. Na Biblia inasema kwamba tuna imani kwa Mungu ambaye imani inayotenda kazi kuu zaidi. Now, um for instance, people pray for revival. Kwa mfano, watu wanaombea uvuvio. They might pray like this, God, please bring revival. We need revival. Please, please, please work. Wanaweza kuomba hivi, eh, Mungu, tuitaji uvuvio. Tuitaji uvuvio. Eh, Mungu, tuitaji uvuvio. Now, let me tell you my confidence in God. Kwa sasa nikwambie ujasiri wangu kwa Mungu. I believe that God always wants to bring revivals. Naamini kwamba Mungu huwa anataka uombezi wa uvuvio. Even here, if you listen to the teaching today, and if you start rejoicing the Lord, you have revival already. Na hata hapa, unapoomba na Mungu ahitaji kukuvuvia wewe utaisikia ukupatikana utakuwa umevuviwa tena. Because it will change your spiritual life and your ministry. Maana atabadilisha maisha yako ya kiroho na maisha ya huduma yako. So when I pray for revival, I pray like this. Wakati anaombea uvuvio, yeye huomba na nini? I will say, God, I know you want revival. Najua kwamba Mungu anataka uvuvio. You want to bring revival. Help us to repent and love you more and submit to you more and then you'll be revived. So for me, it's whether we are willing or not. Now we can, some people can pray and say they cry because so many Christians are weak. Mara nyingi watu wanalia kwa sababu wako na sehemu ambazo ziko na udhaifu. But for me I'd rather say God wants to revive our spiritual life. Lakini mimi huwa nauliza Mungu leta uvivio katika maisha yetu ya kiroho. God wants to bless us. Mungu anataka kutubariki. You just trust in him. Yeye tumsikilize. And he's very happy with you. Na yeye ako na furaha na sisi and your whole life will be different. Na maisha hapo yote atakuwa tofauti. So I rather give people hope. Wewe unapeana watu tumaini. That when we pray, we pray with faith and hope. Tuna tuna hope na tumaini na imani. So today when we trust in God, we our life can be changed. Leo tukiamini Mungu wetu maisha yetu yanaweza kubadilika. We can become revived Christians. Na wanaweza kuwa kuwa wakristo waliovuviwa. We can become very strong Christians. Tunaweza kuwa wakristo wa nguvu. So let us respond to God. Wacha tuweze kusikiliza na kufuata Mungu. To cooperate with him. Kwa kila kitu tufanye pamoja na yeye. He wants to work this in this few days. Tukwa katika siku hizi chache. To bring a great revival here. Alete uvio mkuu zaidi. And when we respond to him. Na tunapomfuatilia. The revival will come. Ya uvio utakuja. So I I rather pray with faith. Ni ombe kwa imani. There is a place for crying. Um, even Jesus cried for Israel, uh, for Jerusalem. But Jesus did not continue to cry for Jerusalem all the time. He works on changing people's life. And I want to say this. We, we don't have to change God by our crying. Some people think when they cry, oh Lord, oh, then they can't be changed. Ah, when they don't feel, they feel like, hey, 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 as if someone is about to die. Ah, no, about to die. 
God has already made up his mind to bless his people. He just whether we whether we respond to him. Okay. Okay.